Hello my friends, welcome to a Feel Good Friday session with me Sasa. In today's Feel Good Friday session, there are two parts. First, the ranting. Next, the reflection. We can't have either or. I mean, I can't. I have to rant and then I'm going to do some reflection with you. So, a friend once told me, if I could drive into the post office to deliver my mail, I would. Now, he loves the convenience. Um, but at what cost? That's my question for today. These days we have drive throughs like McDonald's, we have food ordering apps like Foodpanda, GrabFood, online shopping apps like Shopee and Lazada, video calling apps like FaceTime, WhatsApp, and video conferencing apps like Zoom, which I have been using a lot. So what I'm trying to say is we can just sit at home and have everything done for us and meet everyone we wanted to meet, <laughs> right? We love the convenience, but again, at what cost? The truth is, we are living at a time where we outsource our movements to somebody or something else. It is no wonder that people these days are more susceptible to lethargy, burnout, emotional stress, physical pain, and all thanks to the lack of movement. Here is another example that hits home for me, <laughs> and maybe for you if you're a coffee lover. It has become so convenient to buy coffee beans that is originating from Latin America and other parts of the world. We simply boil water from the tap and put the coffee, uh, ground coffee and then, and, and then minutes later we can enjoy a cup of coffee. Now the people who brew the coffee have done the harvesting, the hauling, processing, roasting, packaging and distributing it so that we don't have have to go out into the fields and pick the coffee cherries ourselves, drag it home and then turn them into ground coffee. <laughs> Here's a fun fact when I was researching on this topic. Did you know that the coffee bean is a seed known as cascara? It runs with mascara, I have to say it just because I thought about it. Or a coffee cherry interesting it usually takes a newly planted coffee tree anywhere from two to four years to um, to uh, to uh, to grow beans that are ripe enough to harvest so <laughs> the next time you buy and drink your favorite coffee you can truly appreciate the labor of love that went into that single bean and cup now this is just one tiny example how we, you and I, have outsourced movement. Just imagine if we had to do all the labor that I've mentioned just to have a cup of coffee, we would have done a lot of physical movement within a day and then have no time for exercise. Is that good news? I think so. Now there is nothing wrong with exercising, in fact I promote the idea and practice of becoming the best version of myself through exercise. But here's the deeper question. Are you just limiting yourself to one hour a day or two hours a day for exercise or 30 minutes a day? So whatever time you put in for exercise. It can be high intensity interval training, uh, body weight, crossfit, yoga, zumba, calisthenics, bar fit, and others, There's so many out there, right? Exercises. Now, if that is true for you, then I have news for you, my friend. All exercise is movement, but no, not all movement is exercise. Let me say that again. All exercise is movement, but not all movement is exercise. Here's what Katie Bowman, a biomechanist and author of the book Movement Matters said, we have been told that exercising one hour a day is good for you. But have you thought about the difference between exercising one hour a day and not exercising for the other 23? Granted, you spend like eight hours to sleep, but again, all the other hours that is spent not exercising. Exercise is one type of movement and due to the structures of our modern life, can be done, it can be done for a single daily bout. This single bout of movement is an is an otherwise sed sedentary life. Well, well, hold on. Let me just rephrase this for a moment. So she says, this single bout of exercise doesn't fully meet our need for daily movement. Okay. 
So she advises that instead of only resolving to exercise, recognize that throughout the day there are opportunities to move in small but frequent amounts. That adds up to your overall fitness level and decrease sedentarism. I need to learn that say the word properly, sedentary. <laughs> right, my friend, would you agree that when compared to exercise though, movement is more humble, it's subtle, it's less spectacular and easier to practice in dozens of ways throughout our day. Now that means you can't brag about your gains. Mm -hmm. No bragging. <laughs> you can't brag about it because it's so subtle and humble and not so spectacular. There's no bragging on Instagram. Um, for example, if you get off the train one stop earlier, or if you choose the stairs instead of the elevator. So those are movements that you could add into your everyday life. Um, and yet there's nothing to brag about. But I guarantee you, you will see small changes. And when practiced consistently over time, it can create big magic in your life. So whew, that was the rant. That was a long one, right? I'm sweating as I'm ranting as well. All right, moving on, time for reflection. Now, let's talk about movement. Movement creates circulation and rhythms that help us breathe better, improve our health on all levels. It doesn't have to be going to the gym if gym is not your thing. And even a 20 minute walk, for example, will bring you great benefit over time. The trick is to find a way that you truly enjoy moving. So what makes you feel good? Is it dancing? Which is, that's mine. Is it swimming? That's mine too. Is it cycling? Nada, not mine. <laughs> is it yours? Uh, is it hiking? So find movements that light you up. Ka and do it, do it, do it. Move and your body will thank you. And in return, bring you greater vitality. So type it in the comments. Let me know what type of movements light you up. What type of movements light you up? Ah, dancing, or even parkour. I know, I know a friend who loves doing parkour. And she's all about moving the body. Do you also have an exercise related rant? Do you want to rant? Rant it, rant away in the comment section. So keep making small changes and be consistent because that will create big magic for you. My goal is to encourage you, empower you, and to celebrate you. Lastly, I would like to acknowledge my friends, Eleanor, Eleanor and Devon, Devon, for commenting on the previous video on attention currency. <laughs> so, I miss you both, Eleanor and Devon, and this makes me want to move my body in ways that light me up. Uh, it like this. Ugh, I miss you so much. This is me hugging you too. <laughs> shaking everything is jiggling oh my god so I really look forward to crossing paths with you two again <sighs> until then stay safe my name is Sasa you are watching feel good Friday session where you get tips and tools to love yourself a little bit more every day till next Friday let's get lit Ka -ching! on movements shall we Ka -ching! all right high five my friends <laughs>